The Mune species is probably most recognizable as the leaders of the intergalactic banking clan from Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, and the Clone Wars. Very little is known about them in canon, so today I'll be using Legends material to cover their biology and society, and I'll do my best to keep it all to information that I think is likely still true in canon. Their homeworld was Scipio, which also served as a headquarters for the banking clan. Located in the Outer Rim, it was a snowy, mountainous planet that held a number of massive vaults. The Mune people that inhabited the planet were known to be very tall and thin, having elongated, bald heads. They were often very pale because the people in general did not like to go outdoors or travel the galaxy unless it was necessary. They had very flat noses that could be so extreme as to look as if they didn't even exist. They had three hearts, two of which could be consciously controlled to relegate blood flow in varying temperatures. The extra hearts may have attributed to their lifespan of over 100 years. Munes were known to be very intelligent, especially in mathematics and statistics, which led to their talent with finances. They were very emotionally reserved and, like most species in the galaxy, viewed themselves as superior to other cultures. They were generally seen as greedy and completely willing to exploit those quote-unquote lesser species for personal gain. However, they had great respect for ideas of fairness, justice, and the law, although they actively worked to find legal loopholes so they could technically obey a law but break it in spirit. Their society was broken into a class hierarchy based on merit and intelligence. Bankers, lawyers, engineers, and diplomats were considered to be their highest classes. It was difficult for a commoner to change his or her status after childhood, as potential was judged during their early education. Their language was surprisingly similar to the droid language binary, made up of a collection of monosyllabic sounds that varied in pitch. Now I'll go into their basic history, but here is where I think things could get real iffy. Biology and society are much easier to retain between canon and legends than actual history, but just remember that everything I'm about to say is even more subject to change than anything else in this video. The Munes developed the Banking Clan very early in their history and colonized the nearby planets Munalist and Mygido, which became major hubs of business activity alongside Scipio. The banking clan accumulated wealth by supporting any business enterprise they thought would be profitable, including anti-alien organizations. Mune-controlled planets joined with the Galactic Republic, but as corruption took hold of the government, the banking clan was allowed to grow unchecked, going so far as to employ hailfire droids to be sent out as debt collectors. During the Clone Wars, the Munes were publicly neutral, assisting both the Republic and the Separatists, but the chairman of the banking clan, San Hill, had a seat on the Separatist Council. Near the end of the Clone Wars, following the Republic invasion of Scipio, control of the banking clan was given to the Supreme Chancellor and was presumably completely absorbed by the Galactic Empire. I think the most famous Mune character in all of Star Wars canon or legends would probably be Darth Plagueis. The book Darth Plagueis by James Lucino detailed the character as a Mune and prominent member of the banking clan. However, since the decision to make Star Wars Legends a thing, most of Plagueis' history has been lost. We currently do not know his species. He very well could be immune, or we could get a new story surrounding the character in the future. I think Lucasfilm is leaving options open, but for now, Plagueis is kind of like a Schrodinger's immune. He both is and isn't a member of the species until we find out for sure. But that's all we know about the species for now. If you have any other species you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments, and take a look at this playlist to see which species I've already done. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.